Yeah, that. How's that? That's a good looking. Is it good? Yeah. It's a good looking dude. Well, no, I can't. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I think, Shay. The lighting around him. I am starting is... to feel the love. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, the lighting around him is good. The lighting around him is good, but I can't do nothing. Can't do nothing about the commentary. We can, we can. I can't, I can't, can't do anything about this face. I can huh? Look at all that. What's up guys? It's Chris, Rock Outdoors. Shane and I are doing our little weekly installment of the fishing report. The only difference is there is not much of a fishing report this week. We are, as you can see, we are not in the store today. We are in the, the Charlotte Convention Center at the Mid-Atlantic Boat Show. It's been a, it's been a fun couple of days. It's starting to wind down now. It's almost time to pack everything up and get ready to head for home. But uh, I just want to talk to you real quick. I'm just going to give you a little preview of the upcoming tournament this weekend. There is a uh, Piedmont division that officials are in is at Lake Norman. As most of you guys know, if y'all remember the crazy weather we had last week, only in North Carolina can you get snow one Friday, 75 degrees on Monday, tornadoes on Thursday, and then it snowed here again yesterday. That only happens in North Carolina. But um, you guys know last Thursday we got just an unbelievable amount of rain. Most places got five to seven inches of rain, and the lakes are all just I crossed the river yesterday and today coming down here and my, actually my team tournament partner Wayne's been on Lake Norman and yesterday and today practicing because I'm working the show I'm not going to get practicing but everything is just almost the color of this red right here in the basket on my jersey. I have no idea what the fishing is going to be like this weekend. I just know that a lot of times when you get high muddy water like that the fish have a tendency to get very very shallow and it's it's actually going to be probably going to be a, a tough tournament. The only good thing about it is is we've got about five days until the tournament for everything to kind of settle down a little bit and the one positive is Lake Norman it typically is a good lake when it gets muddy. Now the lakes around the house, I just don't know. I just can't tell you with with everything being flooded and muddy as it is, I, I don't know how they're going to react. It's probably going to take them a week and a half or two weeks to kind of settle down. The good thing about that is though, is when they do settle down and it gets a little bit warmer, the fishing will be outstanding because baiting lakes like Baden and Tillery never get any color to them. And when they get, when those lakes get dirty, they're typically very good. The same can be said for Lake Norman. Lake Norman's a very clear water lake. This time you can see four or five foot deep in the water. And when it gets color to it, it's, it's a lot of fun, you know, and that's where we're gonna be at for the next three weekends. We got the Fishers Men this weekend, the Carolina's Bass Challenge is the weekend after that. And then the North Carolina Division at the BFL kicks off the weekend after that. But um, that same weekend that the North Carolina Division and the BFL kicks off, the Greensboro Show is going on that weekend too. The Bass and Saltwater Expo will be at the Greensboro Coliseum. We'll all be there. Um, the whole Rock Outdoors crew will be there. We'll have the Bass Cats, we'll have the Vexus, and uh, I'm not sure if Shane's gonna be there yet or not. I'm assuming he's going to be. But um, like I said, no fishing for me, you know, for the, no practice for me for the fishers. I mean, this coming weekend, we're just going to have to kind of go wing it and see what happens. But uh, I hope you guys catch some fish this week. Follow along. We're going to post some pictures of the show. And uh, we will see you guys again same time next week. Thanks. Y'all have a good one.